It's Tuesday afternoon, and you know what that means. It's time for Randomity with the Random Christian Show. Today, the Random Christian Show is highlighting featured shows on the Good Wives Network. The Random Christian Show is brought to you by Mrs. A's Famous Salsa Buena, a unique blended salsa loaded with cilantro and just the right amount of heat. Mrs. A's Famous Salsa Buena is available in stores across Northern California, Colorado, Nevada, and Southern Oregon. To find a store near you, just visit MrsAFamous.com. The Random Christian Show is proudly supported by The Advisor. The Advisor is a Facebook group created by Colonel James Neil Broaddus, composed of multi-talents such as actors, directors, artists, writers, and more. If you fall into this category, contact them on Facebook at The Advisor. The Random Christian Show can now be seen on the Good Wives Network, TV for women, by women. The Good Wives Network starts streaming soon over on Roku, Android TV, and Amazon TV. Intro music provided by the Dead Campers. Check them out on Spotify and at deadcampers.com. Next week, the Random Christian Show is interviewing the Reverend Jimmy Bratcher. My name is Andy, and now here's your host, Christian Random... a cat sorry <laughs> she she likes to rub against the microphone and like she's <laughs> like and she's on full sure, purr right now cat. so i so i didn't want some weird purring asmr going on when we started the no show. we don't want the asmr <laughs> so, going on so either. i had to grab i had to grab and now she's no asmr. asmr no 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 asmr is bad yeah yes. definitely bad especially on All tuesdays right. during right. the show yeah by shadow yeah definitely by shadow. definitely okay. bad Bad kitty. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> um, hey, welcome to it. It's the Random Christian Show. It's Tuesday, 4 Tuesday. Central Time. Uh, that's 5 Eastern, uh, 2 Pacific, two for me. and, and, two for and me. Th three, 3 if you're in the mountains. Um, and uh, But we're out here in the plains, the flatlands, the, the middle of everything. So it's easy <laughs> to distribute widely and vastly and uh yeah we're worldwide we're here and uh speaking of worldwide we are on as we've stated in the opening the good wives network hey -o. and uh they are doing their big virtual premiere and uh, fundraising event on june the 10th and we have a few of the shows that are going to be premiering um that day uh, or i guess that's part of the big premiere uh release right. is yeah. uh on June 10th, and we have uh, several different shows that are going to be on here with us. Very excited. We were just speaking with them off in the green room. We're going to have a lot of fun with this, guys. So uh, hang tight. Bear with us. Uh, we've never done multi-guests like this before, so uh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be fun. The green room has and... never been busier. Yeah. Yes. Uh, there's lots of snacks and uh, somebody wanted chocolate-covered tarantulas. I'm not sure what was it. Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, uh, that's what my friends were trying to get for me to do a taste <laughs> test with. That's what it was. Yeah. When does the earthworm jerky come? We don't know. Oh, we're not, okay. We're not talking about the earthworm jerky. Oh, we're, okay. All right. We, we don't. We, I, 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 I'm, we don't mention. We're not going we to mention this. We don't mention okay. the earthworm jerky. We, uh, we, okay. we barely mention the pickle cotton candy. Because that's a lot of fun at work. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guess what I made Chris do on his show? It was awesome. You should see his face. It's so funny. He almost threw up. Yeah, it was awesome. Oh, uh, that was, uh, you know, uh, that's one of the moments I'm really going to treasure from that. The pickle cotton candy. That was just amazing. Yeah, it was. It was something. That's for sure. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, and uh, yes, next week. Uh, very excited. Musical guest. The Reverend Jimmy Bratcher, blues guitarist. This album, uh, Far Enough, and his book, Far Enough, are on sale right now. He is uh, getting real big on the blues uh, Spotify. I think uh, he was number four, charted number four, man. So, uh, And uh, we are going to be giving this book away. If you like the blues uh, and, you know, R&B-ish kind of bluesy stuff, um, man, he's he's got a, a great album. And it's actually in... This book right here. That's right. And oh, cool. uh, there's also a code in here to stream uh, some uh, some releases that you can't find on any of his CDs or Spotify or anything like that. 
Nice. And on top of it all, it's signed by the Reverend. Jim ah, Rowe. cool. All right. So uh, that's like uh, a major value. Wait, right can, there. I, can I win it? No, you can't. You Why can't. not? You, you just get to look. Man. Just get to, okay, that's enough. All right. No more looky look. Um, no, we're going to be giving that away. Uh, we're still uh, putting together a little uh, uh, game for it. But uh, so you got to be watching to win, though. Yeah. So uh, yeah. And participating. So um, anyway, that's going to be next week. But this week we've got three different shows. Well, actually, four different shows. Four shows. Three, three. different sets of hosts. And yep. uh, we're very excited about that. Um, so, you know, we always. Uh, have our crack team of lawyers and researchers that um, try to make things happen for us. So speaking of that, we've got our, what we like to call our random nine list. It's right here and uh, welcome to it. It is that time. Yes. Once again, for our random nine list of rejected shows from yes. The Good Wives Network. Ah, that's right. Yep. All the stuff that they said, this is not nope. going to apply on this cutting network. It. We're cutting it. We had it researched. We had it found. And we've got the top nine for you. Yeah, that's right. Nobody else has this. Just us. No, you can just call us. the Good Wives Network creators and whatnot. In fact, uh, Fancy doesn't even know we have this. And she was on that's last right. week. And uh, so while she was on the show... We had our crackhead lawyers and researchers <laughs> go in and steal these Not out of her crack trash. Crackhead, crack team. Oh, oh, crack team of researchers, not crackhead researchers. Well, that's that's completely different. Completely different division. We don't even we that. don't even have to worry about the twelve step pro process. Um, no, so. no, they've done that. Yeah. <laughs> then uh, what are we paying them for if they're high on crack? Research. Oh. Well then, that's then we have this list. There they we go. did their that's job. This us. is awesome. It's great. Perfect. Oh All right. wow! I should just shut up and do the random night. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, let's let's go ahead and uh, as usual, we start off with number nine. Number nine. Nine. I don't have enough. Theme. There's nine right there. Right. So at uh, starting out with number nine. Uh, it's, uh, well, I don't know why this one wouldn't work well. It's called Happy Hour with the Grumpy Old Man. Because back in my day, we were never happy. That's right. We just sat around and thought we were happy. But nobody else wanted to be happy with us. And it was, it was a tired old bit. And nobody ever wanted to hear from Grumpy Old Man again. So we moved on to number eight. <laughs> no? Uh, wow, well, that was, uh, that was... That was under 30 seconds. I'm so proud of you, Christian. I'm so proud of you, man. <laughs> the grumpy old that man. Is, no, that is, that, that is real dance. growth. That's real growth right there. I'm just letting yeah, you know. Yeah, it's true. Um, and, uh, and the crowd goes <laughs> Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. All right. So, okay. Uh, uh, so for people that regularly watch the show, you know that we do a bit at the end called Random Questions of Insanity. And uh, we've noticed that... Uh, females we, don't well, don't seem to watch don't seem to watch James Bond movies. So and, uh, number eight, the number eight random rejected show from the Good Wives Network is Shaken Not Stirred, a deep dive into all things James Bond. Hmm. No need, yes. no need for it on the Good Wives Network. No, 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 because no. we pretty much bored the hell out of people with that that question. From I know that I, I just love the blank look that comes over their face when we ask that question. They're like, but, and it's not just women. There's a well, no, younger, yeah, no, well, and like younger, younger guys, anyone in the thirties, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> just no, don't watch it. Yeah. yeah, was that with Brad Pitt? No, it wasn't <laughs> with Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt was never in James Bond. Well, maybe it should be. Maybe it'd be a more successful movie series. You know. <laughs> kind of like uh, Taken or, um, you know, the uh, Speed. Oh, wait, that was just two movies. That wasn't really a series. Okay. <sighs> All right. Sorry about that. I'll move on. Uh, let's see. Num number seven. Uh, number seven. Accounting alphabetically and chronologically and color-coded and numerically for fun. I'm I already asleep. 
I was I'm already say, asleep. I see right why now. with this? I'm pretty sure our uh, our team was a little high when they found that one. <laughs> Probably. I, I think yeah. they made made it up. Um, oh, number seven is a little blast from the past here. I'm not sure why. No, number number work. six. Oh, yeah, number six. Num yeah, number six. Number six. Uh, well, yeah, and it's sorry. and it's funny too because I opened the show with a cat. <laughs> Oh, right. Nice. But our, our old co-host Matt, uh, number six, random rejected shows from the Good Wives Network. Matt's cats. It's the yes. overnight show. It's eight hours of just his cats getting into everything at his house. Matt, that's all it because is. Because yeah. and the, the little side joke, which a lot of people don't get. I mean, everybody who used to watch or watches this show and they saw Matt. Matt used to play with his cats while we were on the show, and that's why right. Matt ended up just kind of being the backstage producer of the show. <laughs> uh, we'd be like typing to Matt, hey, Matt, what's going on? And he'd be like, oh, I'm playing with my cat. And he'd right. just be off <laughs> camera, dingling a string, going, no, kitty, no. <laughs> yeah, kitty, bad kitty. Yeah. Being bad cat. All right, sorry. Um, and so, once again, we, we've lost the crowd. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. Whoa. Red alert. Whoa. Red, Red alert. alert. Red, Red alert. alert. Red alert. Okay. All right, sorry. Um, moving on to number five, uh, the tasting good food show with the ironic chef. You never can tell if it, the food is good or if it's not. Or if he, yeah, if he's just being or ironic, he, like, oh, this is ironic. delicious. Uh, yeah, this is great. Yeah. You guys would love this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this, this is fantastic. No, really. I'm not kidding. Whatever. Actually, I kind of want, kind of want to see this. Why are you just thinking of this now? <laughs> Why haven't we done this? <laughs> we, we could. Um, uh, yeah, well, okay, yeah. All right, number four. Number four. We're moving no, on. Number moving on number here. four. Uh, we should resurrect. We should resurrect this from Saturday Night Live, but put you in charge. Random thoughts with Christian Random. Hmm. Random deep thoughts. <laughs> I wonder what makes pickles into cotton candy. <laughs> And oh, why yeah. they were made. No. <laughs> All right. Uh yeah, we're gonna we're moving along. Moving along. There we go. All right. All right. Uh okay. Um number three. Number three. <laughs> this 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 is uh this it's is a, it's a real shame because anybody who like if people watch the show regularly, this is great for them. But if someone's just coming <laughs> this today. Which which would be all of our guests right now, they, right? They have, yeah, which is like, completely lost. They're like, completely wow, lost. I sure no, this hey, is funny for someone. Uh, we're having number, a great time. <laughs> <laughs> we're having some fun. Is what we're doing. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, sure. Number three. Number three is the soundboard of death, a true <laughs> crime classic. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Everybody knows. Yeah. It, well done. Well done. Right. Everybody knows we've had our issues with the soundboard. Yeah. <laughs> well, not not really we or well, well I, I, we. hey, no, you know, I'd like to take some. Or my, I, I, that's why we don't use the other soundboard that's over here. I, cre anymore, I created the first iteration of the soundboard that we used, which and worked had, fantastically. But it had its issues. It had its issues. And so so did its user. And yeah. <laughs> so. We're trying to be nice, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I but I'm being honest, so I'll uh, we'll do it live. you know. Okay. Yeah. We're just going to do it live. No, we're we'll do gonna, it live. All right, we're yeah. doing it live. We're, we're doing, doing it live, Bill, don't worry. Uh yeah. all right, number 2. We oh, well, we're getting close to number 1. So I've been pitching this show everywhere. Uh and yeah, the Good Wives Network rejection was just the last. That was the last. It's I'm not going to pitch it anymore. Uh the number 2 uh random rejected show from the Good Wives Network. Andy's Asinine Adventures. Which uh, I yeah. would have paid money to see. Yeah. No, it's just it's basically me just yelling at my computer all day. Really not that exciting at all. <laughs> and I get, I, I get I get why it was cut. <laughs> production value was A plus though. I gotta I gotta say <laughs> technically sound. Yeah. Just technically a very sound show. Graphically content was all played. And, yeah. Um right. But yeah, Andy with his finger up his nose, half asleep, drooling during a uh, 
a, a conference call is not, not probably good. not, not good. the most adventurous. Not, not good. Not riveting. Not riveting stuff. It yeah, really isn't. Not, not going to hold true for anybody. Um, all right. So now we are down to our number one random nine rejected shows from the Good Wives Network. Fun and creative cooking with Carl uh, Godley. Oh, Chris. We. Really? Put that bad interview behind you, man. I know. And <laughs> move and on. Nobody else gets that except anybody who's seen the show or the show. Move on. We have Carl to move Gottlieb. on from our bad interviews. Because cooking is them. work. Cooking is work. No. There's no fun. There's no creativity in it. It's just work. All right. It's, work. it's a lot of work. Yes. And right. it's hard. And, oh, and man. It's, it's hard. <laughs> can you imagine <laughs> cooking with Carl Gottlieb show? I can just oh. imagine the hat on it. Right. Oh no. Yeah, it's Carl. Hilarious. I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. I'm here to cook. All right. It's yep. going to be a lot of work. There's, we're not going to be having fun. <laughs> you know, chopping onions is not fun. All right. So right. just just be prepared. Yeah. MTA in the chat. How you doing, buddy? There he is. Oh, let's let's yeah. enable the chat. Why don't we yeah. do that? Okay. So uh, as we do this, Michael Thomas Angel, welcome to the show. Uh, there is our chat board for uh, everybody who's watching at home, and uh, if you want to participate feel free that is the way to do it the best way to do it i mean you know you can try and call or email but nobody will see it except you until us after the show um all right so and our, and our call center has recently gone under some uh, <laughs> heavy personnel changes so yeah just trying to call into the show is not operators good. operators are not standing by <laughs> no they are not standing by right throw now. That out there uh most of our operators quit due to uh reasons of logistics um so right. we're going to uh go ahead and it's now um good wives I'm... network time and uh we are going to uh i had uh brought in the music board but that um didn't happen did because... it fail well no chris finished <laughs> most of the studio this weekend except a lot of things didn't get reconnected in time Oh, that's so because okay. literally Chris finished most of the studio up to last night before he went to bed. So uh, oh, the right. operators are sitting down. Um, so, yeah, do, there's do a we few need, things. Do we need music? <laughs> so moving on without the music, <laughs> it'll be the rest of the show. And uh, we'll just there there's a little music there you go you. that's good that works that's, that's that working just fine um yeah. we're gonna go ahead and start jumping into uh our guests that are on uh they're all from the good wives network they're all uh, going to be premiering uh up here on june 10th we have the virtual event uh that y'all can log in and it's also a fundraiser uh we yeah. can talk a little bit more about that fancy was talking about it last week um so we're very excited to uh, get these ladies on um, and so I guess we'll just start with, uh, who's our first, who's our first guest. We've got Martha. There's Martha, right? Or no, that's no, Kim. 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 My bad. My bad. <laughs> and now where's Martha? There's Martha. You got there's, her. There's Martha. I found her. Wait, there. She's waving. All right. There, we go. there she hey. is. All right. Martha. Hey. And Kim. hey, good afternoon. Good morning. Good evening. Um, where every you might it's be afternoon everywhere chris we're good <laughs> that's true all right well you know they could be international um like arusha or something uh they are creators and hosts of the family coaster uh one of the uh the great shows that are on uh the great good wives network the great wives network I, I over exaggerate sometimes ladies so i apologize uh welcome to the show thank you so much for being here Thank you for having us. Oh, this is a blast. We already love you guys. I was texting Martha. I'm like, hey, I finally found two dudes who are flipping more crazy than me. What's up with that? <laughs> no, we're like, we're laughing back. Like, we're talking about how we're laughing back and forth in the background, too. So, yes. Uh, well, awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. No, we're, we're very excited to have you all in here. I know, it's, again, yeah. it was kind of a, uh, a rushed uh, a shuffle if you will shuffle yeah. yeah um but uh i'm just excited to get you all on um i'm i'm glad we just stuck with the three because uh she was trying to get some more and i was like i don't think it's gonna work out that well and, <laughs> uh, but anyway so but fancy god bless her she she did what she yeah. could and got it done for us so 
We're glad to have you here. Welcome to the show, the family coaster. Now, all right, let's 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 start off here. Uh, this just started out kind of as a, a fun little podcast, y'all. Just got together and started throwing together. When how how long have you been doing this? We're only uh, eight episodes old. So oh, oh, really? she came to mm-hmm. us and uh, she told the digital marketing world, bring me Kim Ward. And so they did. <laughs> and when I met her, I'm like, this chick is crazy. <laughs> there it is right there. There it Last is. From the past. Um, okay. So uh, y- y- y'all just, uh, I mean, but how do you, were you like sitting around one day, just kind of like, hey, we should do a podcast or, I mean. How, how did this whole all evolve, I guess? Yeah. It's Fancy's fault, right, Martha? So seriously, she had, she had Absolutely. come to us and said, you know, this is my vision. And you two are crazy enough to really help me bring this <laughs> to fruition. And I looked at Martha and she looked at me and we both said, yep. let's go for it. <laughs> well, there you go. Let's go for it. All right. And um, so uh, Fancy seems to have a thing for the criminally insane so um which explains all of us being here at this point right, um, yeah. uh the, the family coaster what give us a give us a synopsis of the of the show here let's let's explain it to uh the common folk at, Go ahead, Martha. yeah so family coaster actually kim's daughter came up with the name of it nice. it is real life pull back the curtains of us as moms and business owners, <laughs> like the ups and downs, the craziness of it all. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, so trying, trying to balance, you know, having to grow people yeah. <laughs> and, and, and stay afloat <laughs> at the same time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and yes. ourselves and the, right? you know, we are like the epitome of, you know, those pictures you see with the women, spinning like the hundred different plates going oh we gotta do oh yeah that's what this is and it's not like this oh you can do it too it's uh we feel you right (laughs) like like, you're not alone yeah yeah Yeah. Yeah. i was gonna say we're here to back you up you know um oh i'm just and hello teresa thomas hi Teresa. thanks for tuning in um okay uh, how, so how 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 do you guys prepare for a show or i mean like because with with that like if i were to sit with my friend and talk about <laughs> like the struggles we have week to week with hey you know trying to be the best dad versus hey trying to keep the lights on at house like how would it not become a two-hour therapy session yeah. between well, you guys <laughs> <laughs> it, it kind of is we only <laughs> yeah. the show to, to 60 minutes but you know right. Martha and I met about three years ago. We met right at the onset of COVID and we quickly found out we're kind of the same human and we're just living in different parts of the country. And so this to us was a no brainer. We're literally both sitting here with wet hair. It's not like we didn't know that the show was happening at 4 p.m. Central. (laughs) No, stuff stuff happens where, you know, there's only so much time in the day and you got to fit it all in. And sure enough. And yeah. the kids are on summer break already for both of us too. Yeah. So there's oh, that yeah. in it. Oh, yeah, oh, my. Mine, yeah, mine still have uh, two more weeks. Yep. Thankfully. Nope, yep. Cheers to that, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, honestly, it's about like, how do we build this business? How do we build a brand? How do we raise our families? And how do we yeah. put it all together while keeping our sanity? Um, and that's what that's what the show is all about, is showing the real life. Um, Let's end the stigma around perfectionism and real housewives of Atlanta, because uh, unless I'm wearing a corset, I'm not fitting in that stuff. So it's not going to (laughs) happen. And so we talk about real life situations and we drop the curtain to say, hey, this is I'm on the random Christian show with wet freaking hair because I did not (laughs) plan my day accordingly. Let's get real. (laughs) That's momming. That's real life. Right. Yeah. Well, and it's 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 adjusting and jumping in and doing what's got to be done when it's got to be done. And that's, again, yes, real life. It's not everything's got this perfect order and things are going to happen just this way. And no, we'll do we're, we're doing it live. That's yeah. Right. yeah. We're doing it live. <laughs> we're doing it live. The just lies like we tell ourselves. The lies yeah. we tell ourselves when we start, oh, I'm not going to be like that, mom. I'm going to do it 
this way. Uh huh. Nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, by the way, I did fit into my corset for the show. So. Woo! <laughs> you. Yeah. <laughs> it's on my foot, but it's still, <laughs> yeah. it still fits quite well. Technically, yeah. Technically, you're in the corset. So yeah. that's that's a win <laughs> right there. That's awesome. Uh, and Teresa says she's a trained therapist and hypnotherapist. So, well, Teresa, we have a lot of people that can talk to you because uh, there's there's a list, and, and it the starts phone lines with just the, reopened. Yeah, right. we're, just, <laughs> we're taking your calls right now. Hold on, right? Yeah. So. Um, okay. So yes. Yeah, so this is just basically real life being talked about, uh, played out. Now uh, you said you you both are in different parts of the country. Where where uh, where Kim? Where are you? So I'm in Tennessee. Okay. okay. Martha. I'm in Central Illinois. Oh, okay. Oh, so there sorry. is a fairly big gap there. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, same About time zone, but still, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, so see, we still hey. haven't met in person. We've never well, met in person. I don't know see? this guy technically. Yeah. 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 Never met him. Yeah. Andy was actually a guest on my show and we just I never hit it left. off real well. And yeah, he really <laughs> I never like, left. Well, yeah. Uh, I I've guess been logged, I've been Andy logged on for show. two years. <laughs> and no. it's like I wake up, I'm like, Andy, the show's over. <laughs> it's okay. No, it's we, not. <laughs> Don't cancel me, man. I'm right, just I'm working. Okay. It's okay. I'll be here. It's fine. <laughs> just ready for next week. <laughs> hey Andy, I'm gonna go to work. I, I work from home. I, I know Andy, it's it's great. <laughs> I, I I come home from work and I'm still here. We can do the show now. <laughs> no, Andy, it's just Tuesdays. It's fine. <sighs> um, so there's, so there's uh, the cat. Yeah. <laughs> since <laughs> since you guys since you guys started the podcast, uh, yeah. what has the reaction been like to your shows from from because uh, I'm sure. You know, you first thing you send out to friends and family saying, "Hey guys, we started a podcast. Here we go." And <laughs> and what's what's been li like? What's been the response so far? Well, I don't really know if anyone's seen it yet. We're waiting for our <laughs> launch on okay tenth, uh, and so when we sent Fancy our, uh, she's our executive producer. When we sent okay. her the shows, she called us immediately, bawling her eyes out. She was like, "Holy crap!" You guys knocked this out of the park. It has oh, completely excellent. exceeded my expectations. And we just want to be super real, super raw. And we pick like things that we feel that today's women struggle with. And yeah. we're like, okay, we're going to take that topic and we're going to just be as real as possible. So Martha mm -hmm. will record like her, her footage. I'll record mine. We intertwine our lives and our families. Uh -oh. And then we also sit through Zoom. So our show is a kind of a combination of, all our lives and then us together kind of talking okay. like, you know, you guys do really. It reminds me a lot of our show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're just the male version. That's cool. That's yeah. it. I love it. Yeah. Right. Um, oh, and hello, Leah. There's Mrs. A right there. Uh, Mrs. A from our, our sponsor. Thank uh, you so yes. much. And uh, yes, life is crazy. Uh, uh, okay. So uh, yeah. And uh, <laughs> just, to bear witness, uh, Leah was also a teacher of mine back in the day in <laughs> high school, and uh, God bless that poor woman. Between oh, me yeah. and me and my friends, I uh, I'm just glad she's still somewhat sane. Um, uh, but yeah, no. Uh, so, okay, so you you've got eight shows in the can, um, and now, what what kind of subjects? Let's let's just I mean hit me with some topics that you guys kind of focused on 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 a few of these shows here, so people out there can get an idea of what they're going to be looking for. Right. So we've talked about like friendships, like actual friendships as adult women yeah. and moms. We talked about like self care. Is it actual something that can happen um, when you are so busy? We talked about having fun even when you're trying to work hard. So there's like all yeah. these different gamuts. We've talked about our health. We've talked about like, there's been some real like stuff that has come up, emotional stuff. Like there it's, it is truly that roller coaster of like, Oh my gosh, there are people dealing with some real things. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sometimes right. too in ours, <laughs> real things. And you know, but then there's this fun sided part of it too. And, um, yeah, so 
lots of different areas. Like trying to get a corset on after taking a shower and jumping onto a podcast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pretty much. It doesn't yeah. happen unless it's on my pinky. <laughs> Kim's right. like, I can't um, <laughs> That's why she to do the show. show. <laughs> Kim's turning blue. It's okay. It looks good on camera. Roll <laughs> quick. <laughs> This is going to be the abbreviated show because she's going to pass out in 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's the business on top, our flannel pants on the bottom. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, we oh, did oh, show oh, on yeah. our show that we both showed up in flannel pants one day. Um, yeah. well, excuse me. Don't give me your secrets. Um, <laughs> we are hey, no, 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 no. We've been we've been very upfront that the random Christian show is pants optional. Uh, so yeah, no, we don't. Yeah, we, we do not require clothing from the waist down. So we really don't, don't. don't get me um, wrong. Don't get me wrong. We recommend it for sure. <laughs> highly recommended. We just don't. We just don't require it. So. There, awesome. there has you know. been days where, like, I came in running in late from work, and you know, I've got, you know, just about a half hour to get everything dialed in and set up. And I'll be sitting here with the camera on just out of the shower. Haven't put my shirt on yet or anything. And people will log into the green room and go, uh, am I early? And I'd be yeah, like, yeah, talk, oh! about, talk about, talk oh! about needing a, needing a therapy session is logging in yeah. early on those. Yeah, I was going to say, Teresa, I actually do have a list of people mm -hmm. that might, uh, benefit from uh -huh. your work. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, you know, it's all, all in good fun. And uh, we have a good time. It's all I'm saying. It's, it's a wild party, and uh, everybody's welcome to have some fun here now. Uh, so, uh, so I got that going for me. Um, since, uh, since since you guys started the cast and recording, uh, has it helped you guys just day to day, just having sort of someone to bounce off of and say, "Oh, this is this is what happened to me this week." Like, like, and you know, and just sort of you know working it out on the cast and saying, "Wow, this is." This is actually really helping me move on and move forward. It's therapeutic. Um, I don't think there's a day that goes by where we're not either voice clipping each other. Sure. Are you shitting me? <laughs> or like, <laughs> right. <laughs> just breathe, Kim. Just breathe, Martha. It's okay. Yeah. Um, but there is a lot to letting the world in to see our vulnerability. Yeah. Um, it's crazy to talk about imposter syndrome. Mm -hmm. And then have the world see us talking about imposter syndrome. And it's like, we're really, really being super vulnerable and exposing the behind the scenes, uh, again, ending that stigma of like, if you're a professional, if you're building a business, if you're building a family, there's this persona that you have got to be put together with the perfect background and the perfect sure. makeup and the perfect weight and the perfect pocketbook, you know, and it's like, we're just putting a gabosh on that. I'm like, hey, yeah. <laughs> how do we build last year right together we built a multiple six-figure business wearing yeah. mostly christmas pants from the waist down <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait a minute yeah. what how'd you wait okay well all right hold on we skipped something here you built a six-figure business by sitting around in shorts pretty much <laughs> we okay, I want, I want in. so I want in. <laughs> I, I, I have, it drives my wife nuts. All I have is shorts. I don't like pants. I, <laughs> I don't like pants either. See? Okay. So I want in, I want, I want, I'll just take, you know, two figures or three, <laughs> maybe. Um, uh, anyway. All right. I'll, I'll be quiet. Um, no, it's, that's, that's amazing. That is that's awesome. incredible. Yeah. Uh, well, well, well done ladies. Oh my gosh. Now th this is uh, a business that you all created on your own or. Yeah. So we've been working together for several years, like I said. And, uh, when it came time to create the, the, the show, the family coaster, it just made sense for the two of us to do it together. But we partner in so many different areas of our business that our lives and business are just completely intertwined. And, yeah. um, we created this digital marketing empire if you will and uh, wow ladies that is amazing hey could, no man where's my applause here there it is Aww. right there yeah well done yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. gracious and then you're doing this on top of it so yeah i get the uh the wet hair and uh yeah that makes a lot of sense um all right so well listen um i know we we've got other guests that we've got got to get on with y'all 
Um, okay, so now your show is going to be airing uh, or premiering uh, here in June 10th. And how often has she said how often you guys are going to be on the rotation here uh, on the uh, on the Good Wives Network? I think we're once a week. Once a okay. week. And yes. we are the kind of daytime to evening anchor show. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Very well. Um, okay. So now let's plug away. Let's let's get your websites out there. Let's uh, where where all can everybody find you besides the Good Wives Network? Mark Go Brown. <laughs> I'm like, go ahead, Kim. I've been doing all the talking. Well, I'm okay, I'm Martha. Go tonight. ahead and tell us all about <laughs> it. Yeah, so here we go. <laughs> go ahead, you no, can find us. We're typical social media, right? Facebook, Pinterest, YouTube, Instagram. Like you can find me under like busy mom biz solutions. You find Kim, I'll let you tell them where you can find you, but you can also find me at Martha Browncoaching.com. Okay. All fun stuff there. So, yeah. Yep. All right. Awesome. And and now do you have like a, the fam www.thefamilycoaster.com website or anything like that? Or we're still building that with uh, yes. fancy. So, yes. oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So, uh, or obviously going to the goodwisenetwork.com. Yeah. You can find out a lot about the shows there. Um, yep. Kim, what else do uh, you have uh, yours? Yeah. So, I'm at successwithkimward.com. Okay. And I will say Martha and I have collaborated to create a crazy, crazy Pinterest course because I think a lot of entrepreneurs okay. don't realize the value of Pinterest. Um, so PinterestProfitsMastery.com is our hybrid course oh. where we've made a big, big stamp on the digital world over the last year. Wow. Okay. All yeah. right. That's great. Goodness. Man, yeah, I'm surprised you guys aren't half asleep right now. This, I'm I know, right? <laughs> listening to everything you do. And I've been up since 2 a.m., so trust me, I, I know what it's like. Um, wow, that is amazing, ladies. Amazing. This, is, this is awesome. I am very excited to see your show now. Thank uh, you. So yeah. not only can we see it there, but it will be on podcast sites as well, correct? Yes. yes. Okay, yep. All right. the major podcast sites, I'm assuming, Spotify, Apple. Yep. Yada, 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 yada. Um, uh, yeah, trust me. We have a laundry list of podcast sites that we're on. Everybody's like, oh, you should just stick to two or three. Why? Why? I want everybody to hear this wherever they can hear it. So why not? Right. right. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, that's what it's about. I, it's, as you, and I, you guys are just fun and entertaining. Yeah. And, and I'm, I'm very excited to hear your show. So uh, premiering yeah. June 10th on the Good Wives Network, plus with the uh, virtual event coming up. Hell yeah. Yes. Here, let's give you a little DJ arrow right there. Wah, 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 yep. wah, wah. Um, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, very excited to see this. Uh, yeah. You will be part of the virtual opening. Is that correct? Yes. We'll be there. What's our time slot? Our time is uh, 3 p.m. Eastern, right? Okay. I'll be there. Yeah. We'll be on there. You'll see we're, our we're schedule. Like, there. Yeah, we're going to be somewhere in there. We'll be there. <laughs> and we may just have to kick everybody's butt in the trivia night, too. Oh, there now she's go. already smack talking. Oh, I got to bring You got to oh, start right. now. Hey, right. hey, hey, it's on. Okay. I was right. going to say, we, uh, <laughs> yes. We may, there, is uh, no, there is no more worthless fountain of worthless knowledge up here. <laughs> Trust me. Big, 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 sure. Trivia nights, trivia nights fear this brain. <laughs> I got a lot of trivia. things I fear, but it's not my brain. <laughs> um, wait a minute. No, that came out wrong. Um, yes. all right. yeah. Uh, uh, Martha and Kim, this is really wonderful to meet you guys. Yeah, you guys are yeah, awesome. Definitely. Thank you so much. Um, okay, is the, the show is called The Family Coaster. You'll see it here on Family the Good Coaster. Wives Network. You'll find it on all the podcast audio sites. Make sure to check them out. Join us uh, on the Good Wives Network, uh, dot com and go and check them out on the virtual event and uh, do the meet and greet with them and talk to these lovely ladies. Thank you so much for spending time with us and putting up with our uh, ridiculousness, ladies. We love it. We Thank do you. so, so appreciate you so much. Thank you for that. Yeah. And uh, we say adieu. And adieu. Uh, adieu. 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 That's um, all right. I'll just be quiet now. Um, all right. Well, that was, that was awesome. That was totally cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, one for one. And, hey, <laughs> one for one. Oh, um, <laughs> and uh, yes, uh, one of our guests just uh, shot me a message saying that she should be here in time. So I'm very excited to get there. Excellent. So, which means 
we're gonna go uh oh i don't have any more music cues that's right um no i mean i could just do this yeah let's just go with it all right let's bring in brandy jolly welcome to the show brandy Fade the music out. There we go. Okay. There we go. Um, and it figures as the show starts, the thunderstorm hits. <laughs> right. Of course. <laughs> well, that's usually how it works. I mean, yeah. why not? Right. right. Um, welcome to the show, Brandy. Uh, glad to have you along here. Um, this is Brandy Jolly. She has. Uh, uh, let me. Uh, let me get not, all the uh, info. There's a few of them. There's a few of yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> not, not one, but two. Right. Right. Yes. Uh, you've got a couple of different shows going on. First one is Rise, Crime, and Coffee Time. Yes. And uh, that's a, that's always a, a good one. And, um, uh, oh, there it is. Uncorked. Yeah. Uncorked with Well, the, the show is actually Redneck Wine Diva. That's right. Yes. Okay, but on YouTube, they can find on it. On YouTube, under... it's Uncorked, yes. Uncorked. Okay. But uh, all the other sites, it's... Uh, red wine or um, red neck wine diva. Yep. Red, red wine neck diva. That's, uh, <laughs> that's um, all right. So, so Brandy, let's, let's, uh, which one do we want to start with here? Cause this camera. Is, that is like way up. Right. Um, so, well, let's, I'll, let's talk which, about rise and crime. Cause that's right, how this started. Okay. <laughs> rise, crime, and now, is, is that, I, was that the first, was that your first? Yes. Into when okay. I met fancy doing true crime. That's kind of how we found each other. Right. And um, I had this idea to do a show called Coffee and Crime. And it was something okay. I'd already kind of been tweaking with and getting ready to do. And she had brought up, you know, her late partner who passed away in January, right. Christina, wanted to do a show called Rise and Crime. And so we combined the two as a tribute to Christina. And so it's Rise. Okay, Rise, Crime, and Coffee Time. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and, um, and that's, of course, going to be a morning show, and it's going to be a lighter, probably like case updates and okay, small stories or like tidbits of stories to lead people to other shows kind of thing. Okay. You know, we don't want to go too heavy in the morning. I mean, I can go heavy with right. your crime all day, but not everybody <laughs> is good with that. Um, probably not the best way to wake up. Hey, by the way, yeah. here's a bunch of murder and death. I mean, so, I get up in the morning, have coffee, and put on serial killer documentaries. That's not everybody's right. thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I may want to start with a little uh, shoplifting yeah, or something first, easy. and then then first roll into the yeah right. death and murder and mayhem. And so, and then as we were talking about that, I called her and I said, "Hey, you know, I had this other idea for this show." And so I tell her about Redneck Wine Diva, and she was like, "Oh my God, you have to do that!" And so that's how <laughs> she was born. And basically that show is I'm going to travel to wineries and wine bars and anything wine related, some breweries, there are some breweries that I'm looking at doing and a bourbon tour while I'm in Kentucky. Um, uh -huh. And I want to talk mm. to owners. I want to talk to patrons. I want to know the history of the area, yeah. um, what the product is, what it's about, what I like, what I don't like. And, sure. and there's going to be product reviews. Like somebody tells me, Hey Brady, check this out. I'm going to order it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to tell you honestly what I think. Good, right. bad, don't buy it, throw it out, save you money kind of thing. Or run and get it for it sells out because I might buy them all. <laughs> <laughs> well, so that's, that's where that show is. Okay. And um, all right. So so it's not really just wine. You're kind of going around sampling a little bit of everything, just yes. spreading the love and giving your opinion. Now, have you ever done one where you're just kind of like taking a sip and what the hell is this crap? And uh, here's the thing: when I first when I first tried wine, we were in Yakima, Washington, and my husband and I took my mother-in-law to the little wineries and things they had. And I didn't like wine then; I was not a wine drinker. Oh, oh! And so, so we're drinking this stuff, evolving. and I'm the whole time I'm drinking them, and I'm like making these faces. <laughs> and fourth winery in, we're toast. Like, right. Yeah. On, on crap we don't like. My husband does not drink wine, and he's suffering through it with his mother. You know, and there's these beautiful. <laughs> there's these really beautiful buckets on every bar, oh. and finally, I'm just like, mm -mm. "What are these buckets for?" I see them everywhere, and they're like, "Well, if you don't like it, you spit it out and pour it in the bucket." And I went, <laughs> I, "I'm drunk 
on stuff I don't like, <laughs> and I can then spit it out. I'm like, well, yeah. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? No, you Who really didn't have to. Knew and didn't share with me. But, um, but wow. I mean, hey. It's a, it's a, it's a good high. And, and uh, there, and, and now as I, cause I started selling wine about five years ago, seven years ago, it was seven years ago, started selling wine. And what we tell everybody is your yuck is somebody else's yum. So you right. might not like it, but somebody else does. And so I grin and bear it. I will drink it and go, hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> eat some cheese, eat some crackers, something. And then just say, don't give me that one again. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're saying uh, during the show you're getting a little snookered? Is what oh, you're absolutely! Saying. Oh, absolutely! <laughs> I'm not even going to deny it. <laughs> well, that's that's my kind of podcast right there. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> and Andy's other podcast is called Rum and Regrets, and oh, we're there just, you yeah. go. It, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're we're leaving it at that because there's there's a lot of regrets and a lot of rum. I've been um, filming the last three weekends at um, a Ren Fair, so I've been sharing. T- I'm going to have tidbits of that in the show. Oh, the oh that's amazing! Fair. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, and and that's not really about the uh, tasting; it's just about the consuming at that point. Yes, and, uh, and the fun and, and the and the costumes and yeah, yeah. And and there again, there's a hook corsets right there. Yeah. We're hooking all the shows in Call together. Back, I, I wore one this Call last. Out. That's that's. I lasted I about three hours in that corset, and I went and changed. I was done. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I can't even make it a half hour, but but usually my wife's like, "Get it off. We're in public." <laughs> <laughs> but it's so appealing. I mean, I can't breathe. Well, and I looked at my best friend. I said, "Look, I know I look good, but I can't do this no more. I'm about to die." Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like literally right there. I put my shirt on over. My husband's undoing doing the front. He like he's all up under the shirt. I'm like, we're not being weird. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> oh no, we're being weird. Trust me. Yeah. We're, we're, yeah. We're being well, you never know weird. at Renfair, right? <laughs> right. Um, sadly, I think at this point, I think everybody knows what to expect at a Renfair. Yeah. And yeah. And, yeah. Uh, this was family friendly, and there were kids around, so you did have to behave. Right. It yeah. was a blast. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm beat. I had a vendor uh, booth there too. So I was working and having a good time and I'm beat. I'm done. And, and yesterday we slept all day. <laughs> now, now, were you in character the whole time at Renfest or? Uh... No, um, I'm horrible at staying in character because I'm kind of <laughs> scatterbrained and, and I see sparklies and I see, Oh, look, go see that. And then I forget Squirrel. what I'm doing. Yeah. yeah right. Squirrel moments yeah. galore. Yeah. Um, and I'm working on building a couple costumes ideas that I like for Ren Faire, um, because I have a permanent booth at this one now. So uh, oh, cool. I kind of have to, I'm going to have to kind of stay in character, but the ones oh, around yeah, us were, were Rennies that went to all of these and were always in character. And so like, I've got one guy's got two names. He's got his show name and his real name. And I'm like, I don't know what to call you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm calling him Ginger because he's a redhead. I'm like, he liked that work too. <laughs> Well, see, and, and my problem is when, when I hear Ren or Rennies, I think of Ren and Stimpy, that the right. cartoon. Yeah. And then all I can think about is this sick little monkey that runs around <laughs> and drives the cat crazy. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, thank you. Um, that, so was, are you, that was me being in character at Renfest. Right. Oh, yeah. There you go. So are you selling wine at the Ren Fair? No, I actually make tumblers and Oh, other... she's drinking wine at the Ren Fair. Okay, right. I, I make these cool little things. Okay. And stuff like that that I say at Ren Fair. So, oh, that's uh, cool. All right. And yeah. then I, they gave me the contract to do all of their souvenir cups. So I have that contract from here on out. Oh, that's awesome. So it's gonna, I, yeah. I have a lot of irons yeah. in the fire. Right. And, uh, I'm the one that gets all their content to Fancy at the last minute. So, Fancy, sure. I'm the one that, that y'all see Fancy complaining about. Oh, that's me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're that brandy. Uh, okay. There, oh, no. everything is clear now. All right. Um, yeah, it's, man, it's <laughs> after hearing Martha and Kim and now Brandy, I feel really lazy. <laughs> I, I well, feel like... Well, I have a farm. Well, I, I farm just, I, like I, two, so there I, you go. <laughs> yeah. No, I give up. Absolutely. I'm out. That's yeah. <laughs> All right. So welcome to the Random Andy Show. Um, well, hey. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, here I was. I was bitching and complaining about working 10, 12 hour days. This isn't, you guys, it's like 20 hour days and right. four hours of sleep, you know, which yeah. I mean, I get. So, all right. So, there we go. I'll shut up. Um, so, right. so with, 
so with your crazy schedule uh, and how do you find time to research your true crime yeah. stuff? Um, like, is that that just is part what of I do day? in any spare time I have. I don't okay. watch much of anything but true crime uh -huh. stuff or I have audiobooks. Okay. Um, and I was the one on Fancy's Tomb who was notorious for emailing killers. So oh, if they're still really? alive, I like to email them and talk to them. No, and, really? Uh, it's I. It's weird. People are like, why do you talk to killers? Because I want to know. I'm curious. Yeah. And, okay. and I want to have a feel of their personality, you know, or if I think they're full of BS, you know what I mean? And Oh, I get you. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, yeah. We're, I mean... What's How the response? Been, what's the response been to some of those? Like, I, I, have there been any really memorable responses that you're just like, I wasn't expecting that? Or um, I'm going to tell you what, since we did so much work with the gypsy case, uh, Nicholas Godejean for me is one of the weirdest. OK. Oh, just wow. Weird. Okay. Just, um, okay. You know, he'll correct you real <laughs> yeah. quick on which name to use. And he just sure. is a strange dude. And, yeah. um, yeah, it just is weird. Yeah. <laughs> no, we'll I get, I, some I, of that stuff. Some of those emails will be released in the documentary. So, okay. uh, but yeah, he, his was really weird. And then of course I communicate a lot with Darley Routier. Um, I don't okay. know if anybody, she is, uh, on death row in Texas, um, for killing her children. Um, oh, wow. and, I view her as a friend. She, I do not, I, I am one of the, one of those that do believe in her innocence. And, uh, okay. I have, yeah. So, wow. so, all right. So one. got it. So, so take me through something like that, where you, you've done your research and you feel like maybe the system has got it wrong. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, um, one that's now currently fighting it out in courts is Rodney Reed. Um, mm -hmm. when you look at what they present you with Rodney Reed, if you're open-minded, you can look at that and go, something's missing. Okay. Or you okay. can just believe black and white kind of thing. Sure. Um, for me, something didn't feel right. And I started looking into all the Facebook groups and news articles and podcasts and different things. And you just take in everything you can find and yeah. then you put the pieces together. And if those pieces don't fit to make that puzzle, you know, the puzzle's supposed to be square, but it's looking oblong. Then you know something ain't right. Sure. And for, for me, with Rodney Reed, uh, that case mm -hmm. screams Miss Justice. And mm -hmm. a case like Darley's, you can kind of go, oh, there's some gray areas. But Rodney yeah. Reed's case is so blatant um, mm -hmm. misconduct and just a railroading situation. And it, it takes a lot. And, and you can be you can be conned. I, you know, there's one yeah. I'm following right now that the whole, and that's the uh, Cousins by Blood podcast. If anybody has listened to that, you know, I'm listening to that going, oh, oh, he's innocent. And then I'm like, oh my God, he's guilty. The whole time. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's flat out not back clear. And forth, back and forth. Right. Back and forth. Back and forth with it the whole time. And I'm just like, one minute I'm like, no, this guy's got to be innocent. They did this wrong. And then I'm like, oh God, no, he did it. So it, it is. It <laughs> oh is God, no. Word. Yeah, it is weird. So you right. just have to be open-minded. You have to make sure as much as I support law enforcement, they don't always get it right. right. And, and they are, and there are bad apples in that bunch. And so you kind of have to, you have to weed through it and it's hard. It's hard to do. Yeah. And I'm going to well, tell you, there's been times and, yeah. me and Fancy are not on the same side of things and that's a pretty fun sure. argument. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, but no, that's, I mean, honestly, that's, that's the best for a podcast because you get both sides, right? Right. Yeah, you, you do hear different issues saying, "Hey, I, I think it's this way." No, I think it's this way. Yeah, um, we we've had uh, similar. We we've had guests on, and we brought up different uh, topical subjects and stuff. And we don't always see eye to eye, but you know what? We still get along, and that's right. that's yeah. the beauty of it. Is you're showing, hey, there's there can be difference of opinions. Mine doesn't have to be exactly yours, but we can still sit here, converse. <laughs> Not argue, just converse about it right. and and show each other different sides, whether we agree with them or not. That's up to that at that point. But then still get along at the end of it and shake hands and walk away. Right. Um, and it's really about having respect and understanding everybody has the right to their own opinion. Right. And you don't have to agree um, with it, but you have to respect them for it. Yeah, that's true. Unless yeah. it's, you know, different than mine. 
Um, <laughs> so so I, I'm so just I, saying. I'm <laughs> I'm usually right most times. Yeah. So I so I <laughs> let's say I, I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm fascinated by the true crime stuff and the the amount of research that goes into it and it's a lot. Just the it's fact, not easy. Yeah, no, I, and that's I like I just I don't know that I would have the the follow through for a true crime podcast. You know. Um, so I, I'm just I'm curious. Let's say that that you're in contact with someone uh, that you're sort of deep diving in, and you you uncover something that makes you feel like that they're that they're innocent, right? Do you do you share that with them? Like, are they yes. are they able to listen? Yes. Okay. And uh, have you done that? Has there been response um, to it? Like. When I was working on, there's a cold case that I'm still very in touch with. I, the family has become family to me, and that's the Hopper Road murders. Um, okay. When the, there's a man in prison for a different murder that there was some evidence he did it. And his mother sent me all this information. She's like, I have all the proof. Here it is. And she sends mm -hmm. everything to me. So I had a stack like this a paper to go through and wow. try to figure out who's who. Cause all these people have names. You don't know who they are. There, there's right. no, there's no podcast on it. There's, there's a news article. That's it. Sure. And yeah. um, Jody Barr did a really good segment on it. And, and I'm following his stuff and I'm reading this stuff and I, I'm like, look, if it improved that, I'll say that, but this stuff yeah. doesn't show that. And she was right. very angry, very angry with me. And then when I went ahead and released oh. my podcast on that, she, I mean, she threatened to sue me. And I'm like, what are you going to sue me for? I went off your information. Freedom of speech. Right? Yeah. yeah. And, and I'm allowed to have an opinion and I'm not sharing false information. I'm sharing what we know, what we've been given. Yeah. You've got uh, documented she, facts. She gave me three names of people to contact that said they would talk to me to give me how they knew that he was innocent. One was a cop. Um, uh -huh. When I called that cop, he was very adamant. He didn't know who I was talking about. He didn't want to talk and went click. Oh, wow. And I was like, yeah. oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. So that one has been, and then me and the cousin Angie discovered uh, some information that kind of makes us go, well, maybe there's more to this than we yeah. knew. So we've been trying to dig through some of that, and it it's very complicated because it involves the fiance's family. Sure. And so it's like, we're trying to figure out to go forward, but I do believe, I think it was Dateline or 48 Hours, just picked yeah. the story up and is going to do a documentary on it. So I'm very happy for that family. Oh, right. um, I want that family to get their justice and their answers. Um, Curtis and Jen, Jenny were murdered in 2012, 2006, 2012. Mm -hmm. and, um, and there's no answers. And wow. that's not fair to that family. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that case was insane to go through because it's easy when you have a case that everybody knows because there's yeah. a lot of information to pull. When you take a right. case that nobody was talking about, and that's how it was given to me. Somebody messaged me and said, hey, I think you would be great. Can you contact them? Yeah. Right. Absolutely. It was the very first podcast I did on my own. And when I after I had left Fancy's team, and it was scary as hell. And yeah. then I didn't real I wasn't expected to get attached to the family. So it was kind of like, oh. right. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. But and and I, I can see where you can get a little too involved at times, too. Yeah, you, know? you do. Um, you do. Yeah. And, and, and it can hinder you at the same time. It right. can right. hinder you. It did with us with Gypsy. And it, yeah. it's, it's rough. And then, you know, we just followed the Gain and Stout case. And that just went through trial. And I didn't share that on my YouTube because I didn't have the time to dedicate all day lives to trial. Right. But right. I was in a friend's chat while she was. And then I would share her stuff. And I'm going to tell you what, that is taxing and it was emotional. And sure. I think we all took like a day or two off when the trial was over and we had a verdict because it was like we, we had to decompress. Oh, you're yeah. saying you, I had to just you know, let we it. Followed that from, yeah, we followed from the day Gannon came up missing, which right. was in 2020, January 2020. So they found his body, all of the court appearances, all of the shenanigans the woman pulled and all the way through trial. And it was emotionally draining emotionally yeah. i prefer the older cases they're a little bit easier uh, sure okay these and, were this one was rough but yeah yeah that's um super. and for for those listening at home we're talking with uh brandy joel we're talking with a bunch of guests from our our, our guests our hosts from uh shows from the good wives network that will be premiering on june 10th, june 10th. um we have brandy jolie here from uh she's the host of rise crime and coffee time 
and then her uh, redneck diva Ryan. Red, no, well, say that three times really twister. fast, Christian. Tell yeah, twister. red. You're right. Redneck Red wine diva. Wine diva. <laughs> yes. And, uh, it, but it's also known as Uncorked on YouTube. Uh, yes. Uncorked yeah. with Randy. Um, now, uh, I, we're, we're kind of coming down towards the end of uh, your section here, but I, I got a quick question. Your husband, what does he think of all this? Because you used to got a lot of time invested in, in both of these shows and all the research that you're doing. And uh, I mean, obviously with the Ren Fest and stuff. I'm sure he has a pretty good time, but I mean, it, do you all get a lot of time together? Uh, oh yes, I mean, we we have been married for 32 years. Oh so, wow! Whoa! Okay. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh. Good feet. Oh, Not, yes. Yes. Many makes it that far. No, and, no. Uh, is, he travels a, a lot with work, so he's gone a lot. Oh, so when so. he's gone, I pour everything into what I'm doing. When he's home, I kind of back up, and I'm not around much, and we do our time and sure. And we pick back up. And he said that he wants me to hit it out of the ballpark and make it a success. And he'll retire and and, and be my cameraman and, and go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Good husband. Oh, yeah. Another Good round husband. of applause for the yeah. husband. Yes. He loves Very it. Well. He, he, he loves seeing me get all worked up. And then he, he's not a true crime person, but then he'll say, okay, so what case is it now? And I'll be right. <laughs> So he's you a know, closet true crime fan. Yeah, well, he's like, yeah. yeah, lives vicariously through me. And I made him watch the Uvalde thing the other night. And he was like in <clears> court because <throat> he didn't want to watch a lot of it. And I made him finish watching it with me. <laughs> and I force him. It's, it's just like, it's wait, what's happening? What's going on? I know, he it's was like, like he's like, doing money. this number. You know, he's yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. allergies, you know. <laughs> I uh I, it's, it's like me watching these crime dramas with my wife. I'm like, yeah, you just watch whatever you want to watch. And I'll be like, wait, wait, wait. What happened with that person? Wait, right. yeah. Why are they here? Have, They're supposed to be in jail. What happened? A good They're friend of mine is a cop. Up. A good friend of mine, a cop over in Louisiana, he calls LMN Network Lady Murder Network. Instead of Lifetime oh. Movie Network, it's Lady Murder Network. And no. if his wife and I are watching the shows, he's like, oh, they're getting ready to kill somebody. These two are playing oh, and got to watch them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There some, does seem to be some kind of obsession with you ladies in yeah. the uh, how can we murder our husbands shows. Right. I'm yeah. not sure what's up about that. When people ask but, my husband, what does your wife do? Oh, did y'all hear that thunder? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was a good one. And he'll say, he's like, she does things where she knows how to kill people and get away with it. <laughs> <I'm> like, yeah. <laughs> She's teaching a class. Pay attention. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, Brandy, listen, this Brandy, has been absolutely so awesome. Yeah. Uh, if people want to find out more about your shows and what's going on, where can they go? Um, I am on Facebook with uh, True Crime Uncorked um, and Redne or Wine Diva on Facebook because Facebook's kind of funny. Um, YouTube is Uncorked with Brandy. Um, and then on the show, it'll be Rising Crime with Coffee Trump. Co Rise and oh. Rise Crime and Coffee Time. There. Now, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> And uh, Redneck Wine Diva. And I'm not sure of those time slots. I'm sure uh, one is really early morning. The other is probably later evening because it's alcohol. Um, oh, sure. Right. Not, it right. got to be 21 and up. Sorry. Uh, right. And um, I, I kind of have social media. Ever, and I'm horrible at keeping up with social media, uh, like TikTok <laughs> and Instagram. And I have them all, but I, I, I need to hire somebody that does just that. Yeah. Well, oh, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and if, and he can do that for you and if you're um, following me most people see animal pictures all the time because i have all the animals and so i'm always oh yeah, yeah. i have a friend that said brandy you really need to have a gopro on you at all times to catch the <laughs> because you never know what happens that's right that's right. All right. Well, uh, Brandy, uh, thank you again so much for yeah, taking time so out much. absolutely thanks um, for having me guys it was hey, great no yeah. very excited to see what you got coming up uh yeah. june 10th the big premiere also, are you going to be on the virtual meet and greet? Yes, and I am probably, we talked about doing something live that weekend. So, oh, from location, yeah. up to the location Look is just a you, little Miss bit. Fancy Pants. Uh, All right, so yeah, I you'll be able to find. My trip, so, I'm like, I'm going for vacation. It's fine. <laughs> you'll be able to find Brandy at the wine bar at the virtual Yes, the wine bar. That's where I'm going to be. <laughs> yep. Um, so, uh, if you didn't catch any of these addresses, well, yeah, there's some more thunder for you. Uh, we also got uh, 
You can go to the goodwivesnetwork.com and yep. uh, check, check, find her there. Or uh, we'll also have links on our webpage to all yeah. these posts and their websites. So uh, make sure you uh, check them out. Brandy, again, thank you so much for spending thank time with guys. us. Thank you, guys. It was great. Love you. Thank you so much. Thanks, our good red wine. Cheers. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> there it is right there. The diva. Thank you so much, ma'am. <laughs> have a great night. Bye. All right. Oh my gosh, man! That thunder was going nuts where she. Oh was man, at, dude. yeah. Oh man, yeah. Uh, I I was like, she's she keeps touching her mic, and I'm like, oh wait, no, that's that's no. not her touching her mic. It's yeah, thunder. That's that was me making yeah. fake thunder <laughs> on my microphone. Um, all right, so uh, well, let's uh, let's let's take Brandy's little crawler off here, and. Uh, we are down to our last guest, last guest. Uh, our host, and uh, I'm not sure if uh, did we get? I haven't, I haven't seen her jump on yet. So listen, uh, let's oh, let's uh, bring one let's half. Bring in. Yeah. Yes, let's bring one half of the show in here. And here she is, Miss Morgan, right there. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Oh, Morgan, this is awesome. Uh, thank you so much for taking time out. Now, uh, it says here, Missy and Morgan, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> uh, Missy is still trying to make her way back so she can jump on. Hopefully, she'll be able to. You all are the hosts of Lipstick, Lies, and Lashes, which is a GWN exclusive. Am I correct? Yes. yes. Lipstick, Lashes, and Lies. It's Love Gone Wrong Crime Stories. Ooh. Oh, 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 okay. Yes, yeah, so mm. it's very, very juicy. I just filmed a bonus content, which I'm very excited about this. I don't know if you guys know who this is, but it's about Julia Tafana. She's not mm. very well heard of, and there's not much on her. But uh -huh. this was very fascinating to me because she got away with murdering up to 600 men with makeup. What? Back in 17th century Rome. Okay, all right. How uh, like how hold do on, you that deserves that? <laughs> right. <laughs> For one, and then one of these. <laughs> well, those guys. All right. Just saying. All right. So how do you how do you violin playing for the men? Exactly. Right. <laughs> yeah. Hey. So how do you find like how do you find this out? Like uh, where like give me day one, like you're looking for content. This comes up, this name comes up, and where where does the information come from? Honestly, I was just laying in bed. I think I was maybe pregnant with my first son at the time, and I was just super bored, couldn't sleep. Yeah. Went down the YouTube hole and just kind of came across <laughs> the story, and it just kind of, I was just like, huh. Like the light bulb went off in my head. I'm like, this is good. Yeah. And then uh, the YouTube and then, hole. <laughs> and then from there, do you just do you do you start mapping out? you know, the shows and like, Hey, all right, this is where it's going to start. And you know, we'll, we'll, we'll go. We like, how long do you tend to spend on a certain, a certain case? Well, that just really does depend on the case. Uh, me and sure. Missy are talking about, cause we really want to cover like the Murdoz because that uh -huh. is so just right now, everybody's talking about it. And we're thinking it's right. going to probably be about three episodes long. Okay. Wow. So it really right. just it just depends on the case and what we feel we need to do with it and how long we need to stretch it. Sure. Right. And now I was going to say, milk this? well, <laughs> but you're not milking. You you've got a lot of information you got to try yes. and cover. And that's that's what, uh, that was my question is how do y'all decide like you know what information you put in there and I mean do you do it like in a session? Okay, this is the innocent side. This is the guilty side. Uh, this is the in-between side. I mean, how, how do y'all, or do you just pick a side and go with it? I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a very interesting job. I mean, I've heard different people do, you know, I've, I've heard you know, some other true crime things and I'm like, wow, this seems really one-sided. And then, you know, I'll hear one and it'll be about the same subject. And I'll be like, okay, well, that's, that's a totally different viewpoint. And, you know, I mean, how do you decide or, or do you really just try to keep it as even keel as you can? How does that work for you? Well, honestly, with Missy and I, we try to just, I want to say it's more like a raw thing. We just say exactly what mm -hmm. we're feeling about the case. And sometimes it can turn into like us arguing the sides. Right. And sometimes <laughs> not. It's like, oh, yeah, 
totally girls like but I'm, some of us were like mm, nah nah this is how i feel xyz and she'll be like oh that's interesting i feel like this <laughs> yeah. it's really kind of us just spinning around in circles a lot of the times and we're still working that out it's really funny when you get us together because we oh, are well. best friends right okay and so you, yeah now i mean yeah do you guys get in little uh snippets where you're like meh, 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 meh. Not like okay. that, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a great bite of the lip. That was a wonderful bite of the lip right there. I don't right know there. if y'all know who Miss Betty Broderick is, but she ended up in a really not a great marriage. And it mm. basically everything just went mm, downhill yeah. super fast because Dan met this woman. Her name was Linda. And then him and Betty end up divorced. And this was one of the worst divorces in San Francisco County. Wow. So. I believe it took about maybe, if I'm remembering correctly, about a six to seven year time span to completely get divorced. And oh, it, wow. they had four children together. And Dan pretty much ends up with everything, leaving Betty with nothing. And she goes over one day and then ends up killing both of them after they just got married. Oh, wow. Wow. So we're, we were talking about that. And she's more on the case of the side of, no, nah, don't do it. Just, yeah. oh no, she didn't even do that. I'm like, I can see your no. point, but then again, I'm like, uh, cool for her because Missy is not yet married. I am hoping soon because I'm very excited for all my friends. <laughs> right. Yeah. But I I am married, and so I'm just looking. I'm like, I can kind of empathize, I guess. It, it, well, yeah. I'm like anyway. I personally, I don't condone it. I wouldn't do it, but I'm like, I can see why she did that. Mm-hmm. After right. being treated so poorly and being abused like that and manipulated for so long, I can see why she snapped. I'm like, okay, sure. I'm like, mm-hmm. don't condone it. Probably scared of you now. Yeah, okay. and and okay. now uh, when when was this? Uh, when did all this take place? Oh gosh, this was. I believe this specific case happened in 1989. Okay, good. I wasn't there anymore, okay. so I'm I'm safe. Good. I was. <laughs> yeah, Betty is serving out her sentence right now. And oh, she doesn't wow. have a chance for parole in, I think it's nine years she'll get oh, wait, a parole even... hearing. Oh, geez. That's crazy. Nope. I was still uh, out there. Damn it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a suspect, though. I promise. <laughs> so, uh, hey, Fancy. Hey, Fancy. She's in the chat. Fancy, it's great to see you. Oh, Thanks yes. for tuning in. Hey, there yeah. she is. Right on. Um. So, I. Uh, Oh, this was the, what's the name of this? What was this case again? Betty Broderick. Betty Broderick. All right. Say that five um, times fast. Right. Yeah. Betty Broderick. <laughs> Betty Broderick. Betty Broderick. Betty Broderick. No, nope, not going to happen. Nope. Um, so uh, uh, one <clears throat> other thing too, uh, who came up with the name? This is a great name for it, it really uh, is. a murder podcast. Like, did it, was it hard to come up with this or did it just sort of? Well, actually, Fancy had came up with it, and it was after my first son was born. She came to me, and she's, do you like true crime? I'm like, yeah. She's, do you like makeup? I'm like, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I'm in my 20s. I love makeup. Come on. And she's like, do you want to do this? I'm like, heck yeah. (laughs) That's that's really how that happened. Okay. That's that's awesome. That's great. (laughs) <laughs> well, yeah, I, I mean, well, Fancy's got her fingers in everything here. Yeah. Um, that's, oh my gosh, I didn't know that she was so involved with so many different uh, shows here. That is amazing, Fancy. Well yes. done, lady. No wonder you're yeah. so tired all the time, yeah. <laughs> Crazy woman. Um, all right, so, um, and uh, now, now, how long have you been doing this? <laughs> yeah. so I've been with the show for probably about two-ish years and it's been a slowly building process right sure. and okay and so uh now uh when you were developing were you just really work i mean do you do you kind of play around with different sorts of uh uh crime subjects or do you just kind of stick to the uh the murdery kind of mystery t- uh kinds or we stick more to uh the love gone wrong aspects okay because mm-hmm. that is what for the, the uh, main focus is about yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, have there ever been any ones that you that you start to research and you just realize that there isn't a whole lot of meat there and you have to kind of push and move on? 
or do you get lucky with with having to you know like hey i want to go into this one and then you find enough to say you know what you know what this could probably carry one and hey missy showed up she's in I the was gonna uh, say. yeah she's in the chat hey, girl. <laughs> yeah. she she texted said she wasn't going to be able to make it actually on the show oh, but hey you're here on. with Thanks. us in the chat yeah, so you thank you it. missy she's watching <laughs> Morgan's doing awesome. You're doing, don't worry. Take care of yourself. Yeah. Be careful in the traffic. Don't be texting and driving. Right. <laughs> going to have another Turn us off. <laughs> crime, crime, crime syndicate going on here. Um, all right. So now, uh, so you've been doing this for about two years and yeah. So uh, yeah, I think that's a, that's a great question. Um, I mean, you know, especially like all of a sudden, like, you know, especially when you're dealing with uh, newer cases and stuff, and it just like all of a sudden the case just dies out and you're like, oh crap, now what do we do? What 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 do you do on that point? I try to dig and go deeper down those rabbit holes. <laughs> sure. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, well, no, 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 no. Come back. Yeah. You're right. I get very if I get into something, I get extremely curious and I try to write it to the end. Oh, okay. So but there are some cases where I'll start researching and if something just isn't quite right with me, I have to Put it aside. I'm like, I can't do it. Yeah. I, like, I don't I, do anything about moms hurting their children. I'm like, I just, I can't. That gets me mad. I'm like, I want to go beat these women up myself now. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I get that. I was going to say, has has there there just been stuff where you're just like, uh, okay, we're, we're just going to have to back away from this. This is, this is taking a turn that I just can't deal with. Um, Because okay. I... Yeah, I mean, some, some stories, you know, as you're digging into them, it just gets super dark. And uh, I can be, yeah. I can sure, it, or it touches, you know, a personal nerve or something. Uh, so, I mean, get, so do you back out of them or do you just try and work through them because you want to expose it? I mean, how, how does that all work for you? So I've tried doing those before and I had talked with Fancy and I'm like, you know, I, uh, this is my boundary. I can't do that. And she's, okay, we got it. So we just try to find something that doesn't upset me that much, I guess. If those are the correct words. <laughs> so, so you do do a little preemptive uh, screening, uh, per se. All right. Yes. Um, now, has there ever been anything where Missy's like, oh, no, we got to do this? And you're like, mm -hmm, no, or you're, it's the other way around, where you're like, we got to do this show. And Missy's like, eh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so yet. No? I don't think so yet, okay. which Missy is uh, newer to the show because I was doing it originally with Fancy's daughter and she had to back out. So then I was by myself for quite a good period of time. And I'm like, this is getting hard. I need someone. I'm like, <laughs> I have a really good friend. One of my best friends. She likes all the stuff. I'm like, <laughs> let's do an audition. And she's okay. And then so my friend was living with us for a minute. And I'm like, the, minute, the day she moved in, I'm like, hey, guess what? She's what? I'm like, you got an audition for Lipstick, Lashes, and Lies. We're filming tonight. And she's what? And Fancy nope. liked her, and we've been doing this together ever since. There you go. Or you could just have a guest on, and then he just doesn't leave. That's usually, you, you know, um, it's um, yeah, um, it's been known to happen somewhere, somewhere, before. some sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And uh, no. yeah, see, everybody likes Andy. Nobody likes Christian. Hey, <laughs> Fancy, right there. Thanks, Andy. No, well, so she corrected us on the title of the show, which I have now fixed on the thing. Oh. Well, I went that's, off what I was given. I'm sorry. That's okay. Hey, that's, that's right. What, I'm that's a horrible fancy's, person. I'll fancy's just... here to keep us in line. That's that's why <laughs> it's, it's true. Yeah, she's here to keep us in line. And, so and and if you if you missed any of that, tune into last week's show and you'll you'll see her put <laughs> us all in our place. Trust me. All right. Yeah. Um. <laughs> all right. So um. Now you are uh, are you also going to be part of this virtual meet and greet? Yes. All right. Awesome. Excellent. And do you have a time that you'll be on so we can have people that are, are tuning into the show? Uh, in case you are listening on the audio version, we've got uh, several guests, uh, uh, hosts from the uh, from the, the Good Wives Network. Uh, we've, we're talking with uh, Morgan right now, the host of Lipstick, Lashes, and Lies, uh, along with Miss Missy, who's just in the chat for right now, um, which is... The, now, this is a, a Good Wives Network exclusive. There is... A, you, you're not on any other uh, networks or podcasts or anything like that? 
So this nope, is just we are exclusive. Wow. Okay. Wow. All yeah. right. So, uh, and now if people want to find you, where else can they go? They just got to go to the Good Wives Network or? The Good Wives Network, what? yes. And um, we do have an Instagram account along with a TikTok account. Okay. And it that's looks like Master the Mize official. Okay. Now, do you have a website that that, that people could go and, and uh, talk with you or anything? We are still working on that. Oh, okay. So that's okay. still in the works. So hopefully we'll have yeah. that up here soon. Uh, but in the meantime, you can go to uh, thegoodwivesnetwork.com and find links right into uh, uh, Missy and Morgan's show, Lipstick, Lashes, and Lies, uh, which is, uh, again, um, uh, <laughs> describe it. I, I don't want to say just true crime. What, no, what is, no, what is love Lauren. Yeah, love okay. gone wrong. Love yes, gone wrong. Okay. A lot of stories of love gone wrong. Yeah. Right. I like the love yeah. one. I, I think that's more finesse. Lo the love lorn of true crime. Yes. Well, but, you know, yeah. love lorn doesn't mean. necessarily mean that the other person gets hatcheted. <laughs> no. That, that, they just get, you know, a foot. You know, yeah. No, I like love. I, I think love gone wrong is perfect. I think that's, that's excellent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now um do you ever get anybody like uh you know shooting you guys messages and saying you've got this all wrong and you, you know yeah I, yeah are you hacking you through your uh websites or anything not, are you communicating not, or not really websites of, but not yet and a lot of times in the show i will i'm like i probably got that wrong if i did just let me know i'm sorry yeah <laughs> now are you are not how far does your research go? Are you are you communicating with with um, officers? Are you communicating with investigators? Are you communicating with some of the people themselves? Like, how crazy do you get into it? I just kind of go as far as I can. If I can talk okay. to someone, great. If I don't, oh well. There's yeah. more digging I can do because there's there's sure. a lot on the internet. Might right. not all be true, however, but there's a lot we can go off of and we can theorize. Theorize. And, but I think I said that right. Yeah. <laughs> theorize. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah and fa fancy's over here, uh, by the way. Uh, 5 30 p.m. and June 10th. Uh, you can go to uh, givebutter.com uh, for a trivial launch party. Um, and then, uh, of course, fancy as always, plugging away. Streaming on Roku, Android TV, Amazon Fire <laughs> TV, and on, of course, the Good Knives, Good Wives Network. Um, and she's saying that uh, uh, the uh, the research they they've been doing a lot of the research. You're just kind of more putting it all together, and and yeah. finessing and and making it flow. I guess as we should say, correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're you're you're, like you're more the that. reporter, finishing. And uh, putting the finesse on the actual story. I guess we can <laughs> look at it that way. <laughs> I mean, we're really just, we are researching it the best we can. We're taking notes, making an outline, and then we talk about all the facts. And then we talk about things that they don't normally want to talk about on the actual shows. And we get sure. deeper into it and try uh, to do like more no. psychological okay. stuff. Because I'm very interested in people's minds. I like to pick yeah. brains. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and and Fancy's saying here that they always try to pull records. No, I, I'm yeah. I'm not saying that you're not just making stuff up. You, you all get right. all the facts, but she's the one that kind of dials it all in and and presents it. You are the yeah. presenter. <laughs> so, um, all right, um, and and yeah. yeah, and yeah. Uh, so um, now, what is your next big project that you got coming up? What's your next big case that we can be looking forward to here? The next big project, like big episode? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hmm. We're still trying to narrow that down. Yeah, <laughs> 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 I like we have it. a whole list of things we want to do. It's like, hmm. we're like, which one are we feeling this week? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, yeah, I was going to say, because I'm, you know, obviously there's a lot of these cases out there. How do you decide which one's the best one to go with? I mean, where, where does that come from? Do you all just kind of you know, make a, a, a big decision or, or do you just say, Hey, I think we should go with this and then you just kind of file in and, and, and follow rank and file. Yeah, from I mean, there. it's a bit of idea bouncing and it's, Hey, how do you feel about this? And, you know, 
uh, just stuff like that. But um, Fancy did give me Betty. She was, hey, do Betty Broderick. I think this one's really good. I think you would enjoy this case. And she was right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She knows me well because I've known her since I was 18 and I am 25 now. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah, oh, there you great. go. Yeah. So, yeah. So, you guys got a good rapport. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, um, wow. All right. So, good Lord. And you've been doing this for two some odd years. Does it ever really get to you after a while? I mean, do you just, you're like, oh, my gosh, I just need a break from all this. Uh, does, I mean, okay. you, you know, it can really, yeah. I'm going to say, because some of these can just really seem to be taxing on you. But apparently, it's wearing out whoever that is in the back. <laughs> <laughs> That is Christian. That is my eldest son. He's almost two. <laughs> what a fabulous name for that child. Right. <laughs> that yeah. is awesome. Yeah. Is, is it spelled with a K or? It's spelled with a C. Uh, my husband's middle name is Christian, so he wanted to use his name. I'm like, okay. Yeah. All right. yeah. We'll let it slide this time. Um, all right. So um, we've got you coming up here on June 10th doing the virtual meet and greet. Uh, five thirty, I think, is what Fancy yeah. said. Yeah. Um, and then you've got new episodes coming out. Uh, do you know what uh, your time slot is on the uh, on the Good Wives Network yet, or? It's eight nine. Yeah. Eight, okay. Eight to nine. All right. Fantastic. Well, geez. Um, uh, and I'm sorry, Missy. Uh, I, yeah. I, you know, we, we lo would have loved to have you on, but hey, we get it stuck in traffic and all that craziness. So uh, just be yeah. careful getting home. Morgan, thank you so much for thank taking so time much. out of here today. And, thank you and for having me. I really enjoyed it. Oh, gosh. That's so kind of you. Um, no, we. Uh, and again, we'll, we'll get you all back on here eventually, and, and we'll recap and uh, and see how some of your stories have turned out. Because Yeah, uh, and especially yeah. if you if you have a, a, a bigger than normal one coming up, we'd love to have you back on and, and chit chat. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah. Oh, ideas. yeah. And hopefully yeah. Missy can join this time. Yes. Yes. We'll get her in. <laughs> no worries, Missy. Missy's still like, I'm so sorry. Missy, take care of yourself. Get home safely. All right. Yeah. All right, guys. Listen, Morgan, thank you again. Thank for you taking so much. It is time. I think he's about to start his yeah. own crime. Um, all right. Be good, Miss, uh, Missy and uh, Morgan. I'm sorry. Uh, and Missy. Yeah. She's over here in the chat. I keep seeing her all right. popping in. Um, all right, Morgan. Thank you so, much. so much. Have Morgan. a wonderful day. We look thank forward you. to seeing you on the Good Wives Network. Thank you so much. There she goes. Um, all right. Woo! That is just a lot of talking with a lot of people. No, that was, hey, but, uh, you know, for, I think for as crazy as that was, having all the people in there, I thought it went really well. Yeah, I th uh, and I'm just I'm just excited. The more I'm hearing no, about me these too. shows, like, this, this is... is these guys, these ladies. Uh, this is uh, right. the Good Wives Network. It is programming for women by women, uh, and uh, we're just I mean we're we're very blessed to be a part of it. Uh, oh yeah, you know, Fancy was uh, you know after she talked with us and stuff, she's like, no, I want you guys on the show, and we were like, wow, yeah. that's really cool. So we feel very honored to be a part of the good wives network. And uh, yeah. I think we have the noon slot or something like that, which is perfect. Yeah. We're, we're nooners. <laughs> that, we... that, that's not, that, sounded... that is not the term. <laughs> that's, that didn't sound right. Did it? Not the term. Um, well, it's the, the, the edit. Okay. There edit. it is. Edit. Whoa, something's going on. Where <laughs> Captain, the kid, the chick can't take no more. Oh, oh, oh man. Wow. That, um, but that no, th yeah, this really is quick. <laughs> this is exciting. I, uh, um, I mean, I and I know that when we started, we it was a. Uh, I know the evening stuff was going to be a lot of true crime stuff, but the red yeah. the redneck wine diva, just sounds amazing. <laughs> like that that show just sounds amazing. I'm I I can't wait uh, to see that and check it out but um I, I, the, the, uh, but uh, uh, and all the true crime stuff that we heard today too is it's exciting because interesting different takes that's that's well, what i thought was very interesting we had we had a couple different yeah. uh, true crime shows but you know uh morgan's was uh for the uh the the love lorn or how how you ever you want to call it love um, gone wrong love, love gone, gone wrong, wrong. I like Love Lorne, though. It's, it's not, more yeah, no, but it's not romantically. Love gone. I'm wrong. just a hopeless romantic, so what can I say? Yes. Um, well, you are uh, hopeless, but that's okay. Yeah. 
pretty much. I also like to say I'm adorable, um, and everybody goes, "Yes, you are a doorbell. Don't worry." Right. Um, and that means I'm a ding dong. Hello. Right. All right. <laughs> Love turned deadly. Look at Fancy's got an answer for everything. Why are uh, we yeah, even here? See, I, I know. Why right? are we yeah. even? I'm just. Yeah. All right. We go. I think we should turn off the mics and just have Fancy finish the show in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So who's on the show next week, Fancy? <laughs> Miss no. Know It All got everything. <laughs> Oh, uh, um, but but and even the you know the family coaster too sounds really interesting as well. Oh yeah, it, just, it sounds. I fun. love. Yeah, but it, well, and just uh, but it, you know coming from the fact that you know hey these ladies are just trying to keep it together day to day, right? But and, and they how still they, they still it. have the they still have the time to create six figure big businesses. Yeah, and you run know a family and yeah take care of the kids and. But hey, Christian, we've created we've created a three figure business. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're we're oh well, wait, we're two four. right? Fifteen dollars on uh, on speaker. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's uh, hold on, hold hold please. Uh, let's see. Uh, we are seventeen dollars sixty three cents, Mister oh, Man. Man. Oh All man! All right, yeah, yeah, Dude, we're living that's... the big life. We're we're upgrading yeah, the that's... Big Mac meals. We can't buy a large size. It's a buy one, get one foot long at Subway now. I mean, we're, (laughs) we're, no extras, no, no extras. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. It's just, that's a, yeah. Base, base model. We get the cup of water. No ice. No mayo. (laughs) Yeah. But Hey, we're, we're almost there. Yeah, I know, dude. I was, when they dropped that, I was like, I know. Yeah. That was, that was a little, that was a big truth bomb that just, (laughs) just dropped in here. (laughs) And again, I felt very, very lazy at that point. I was like, wow, I just, uh, uh, can't really say enough about how worthless I am at this point. So, Oh, bacon whisper in the chat, Tony. Oh, there he is. Tony Adams. Yeah. Hey, I seen that you sent some stars there, Mr. Man. Thank you so much. I do appreciate that on the old so good. FB. Um, yeah. And we love the, uh, I, I love the Cuban, <laughs> the Cuban potato chip. Reaction. Oh, yeah. I thought that was great, man. You, and you, you nailed it, Christian, his rip to sniff like that's, it's we got to like, perfect that. We got, I got to, I got Oh, that's practice. all him, man. I, I, I know. That. No, like I got to, I got to practice. I want to, <laughs> I want to get as good as him on the, on the rip and sniff. Yeah. Because yeah, he does have uh, quite the uh, stylistic approach to it. I am not yeah. doing that. If we get the earthworm jerky. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Because it'll be rip oh, man. sniff barf right into the I back. feel like, I feel like had you had done that with the pickle cotton candy, you would have, uh, <sighs> <laughs> he's putting on a webinar <laughs> oh man sign me up uh, I, will, yeah. I will pay money to learn the tony adams rip and sniff yeah and yeah <laughs> if, you, if you don't know what we're talking about go to the bacon whisper and uh, on facebook uh, uh gosh he's on tiktok instagram yeah. it's all over the place go see what we're talking about he has this patented move where the bag goes up then as it comes down he's ripping it open and shoving it right in his face and sniffing whatever's in there <laughs> Um, which, you know, if that worked in gym class, that'd be really weird, Tony. So mm. not sure what's going on there. Um, just kidding. Just kidding. Hey, yo. Um, okay. So we've had all these wonderful ladies on from their shows yeah. from the good wives network. Uh, if you want to find out more about them, go to the good wives Uh, you can, uh, find, um, lipsticks. Uh, oh my gosh. Lipstick, lashes, and lies. Lips of l- lashes and lies. Thank you. Uh, then, then uh, Brandy Jolie with the uh, 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 Rise and Crime Coffee Time. Rise Crime and Coffee Time and Uncorked go. on YouTube or the, but the Red Red Redneck, Redneck Wine Diva Wine Diva on uh, Facebook and all that. And then, of course, the Family Coaster Show. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, they, they, every all one all of them were just wonderful and great, and I'm so excited. Yeah. Uh, they will all be on the uh, the virtual meet and greet, which is coming up June 10th. And uh, what else can we plug for them? Well, like I said, we, we'll, we'll go have to, links go to the goodwisenetwork.com. Yeah, you could start. You can start watching now. Yes, um, that's but true. yeah, the yeah, but the uh, the virtual party is June 10th. So sign up, yeah. join us, be a part of the fun. Be a join part of in. the fun. I mean, this is going to be great. And, uh, We're gonna not next week. But the week after, we're highlighting more shows, right? Uh, no. 
No, that okay. uh, towards you the end of the month. Towards the end of the month. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, and I've got oh, to work I forgot that out with yeah. Miss Fancy, by the way. So, okay. Uh, we've got to get that all coordinated. But in the meantime, uh, yeah, next week, what do we got? We've got uh, the Reverend. Oh, the you Reverend. know what we've got? More importantly, got? more than anything else, we've got a word from our sponsor, Mrs. That's A's right. famous Mrs. Salsa Buena. Check this yeah. out, kids. Hey, oh, do you like salsa? Are you tired of pretending you like what the mass-produced companies are giving you? Well, now you don't have to. That's right, Mrs. A's famous Salsa Buena is here to treat you right. They got three flavors like medium, hot, and salsa verde, all made with fresh, all-natural ingredients in a unique blended, authentic salsa with fresh cilantro and no onions. That's right. No more onion breath for you. It's the perfect complement to your favorite foods like burritos, steaks, flautas, nachos, enchiladas, chicken, and of course, chips. But there's so much more. Mrs. A's famous Salsa Buena has gone from a reward for her students now to the shelves in over 500 stores in California, and now it's expanded to Oregon, Nevada, Wyoming, and soon across the U.S. of A. Amazingly fresh, all-natural, authentic, and delicioso, Mrs. A's famous Salsa Buena is near you. To find out where, go to www mrs a famous.com and you'll also get some great recipes info and so much more mrs a's famous salsa buena reward yourself and eat buena yeah baby eat it up buena Hell. in fact right here on the crawler you can see it www.mrs a famous.com find oh. out where she's at if you even slightly enjoy salsa you have to find this salsa. Order it. it. She can have it shipped to you. Um, it is delicious, oh. amazing. The flavor, is, uh, each one is different and has such a great uh, uniqueness to it. It is awesome. Uh, and shes uh, I think she's working on a couple of other different ones that uh, might be like a seasonal thing or something. Um, I, hope, so, I hope she does the mango one because I really want to. I'd love. Mango. I am very uh, interested in I that. Hope, so. I hope she. Uh, I hope she does that. Um, yes. I wonder. I, I kind of want to send some Mrs. A salsa to Tony. Oh, we may have to uh, have see to about him. arranging something like that for the old bacon whisperer there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hmm. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah. We to think outside the box there, Andy. Yeah. Just this thinking. is why you make the big bucks. <laughs> or, Wait, um, you get paid? <laughs> uh, no. No. At least not yet. <laughs> Hopefully soon. Um, no. Um, yeah, no. Trust me. <laughs> Mrs. A's famous salsa buena. Y'all got to try it. Seriously. Anywhere in those states that we mentioned. Or just go to uh, Mrs. A's famous dot com. And uh, yeah. check them out there. Uh, I'd gladly purchase them. Well, we we will get you hooked up there, Tony. Um, yeah. In the meantime, I guess it's uh, it's about time we... Uh... Uh-oh. It's time for the end of the show. Dun, 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 dun. Um, so, wrapping it up, we, uh, we just want to talk about... Uh, our next week's guest, if I can find his graphic here somewhere. He's there. Uh, the Rev. I got there it. There he is. I got it. There you go. You got it. There right. we go. All right. Uh, the, Rev. the Rev, Jimmy Bratcher. And we are going to be giving away his book. That's right. Uh, it's called Far Enough. Uh, we have a signed copy right here in my hands. I will uh, be giving this away. It's got... The disc with the album Far Enough on it, as well go. as a link to a bunch of music that you can't, just can't find no more uh, or uh, are just limited releases or whatever. Um, so we're going to be giving that away. Um, so you got to be paying attention, listen to the show, and uh, find out what's going on. The Rev Jimmy Bass Bratcher next week right here on the show. We want to thank everybody for being involved today. 
uh, Brandy, Martha, Kim, Morgan, and Missy from her car. Uh, we thank you all so much for being a part of it. Go to the goodwivesnetwork.com to check out more about their shows and our show. It'll be right there. Or it'll be on our website, therandomchristianshow.com. Uh, so hit us up there. Kids, we can't thank you enough for being a part of the show. Make sure you like, follow, subscribe, spread the word around, eat some salsa buena from Mrs. A's famous salsa buena. And uh, thanks again to the dead campers and everybody who's been a part of the show. We will see you next week. Same crazy times, same crazy channel. And we bid you adieu. Be good to each other. Adieu. Take care. God bless. Be good. Peace. Wrong button. Damn it. <laughs>